Okay, you guys. Hi, it is Naeem Shakam here, also Jude. Um, I'm coming because I just got an order. Um, I picked up a package from Amazon. I just recently ordered a few items so that when I go to do my nails again, I'll have more things to do with my nails, basically. So I ordered some geometric shapes. I'll take it out as I go. I'm not to that place yet. I got some cuticle oil. Um, olive oil is fine, and I was using olive oil, but I did want something that's specifically set up to assist me with doing my nails, so I'm happy about that. And I like that it's called milk and honey because I used to literally have... Um, when I was growing up, I had a a fake, a make-believe shop and where we did hair and um, nails and makeup. And the name of my shop was Milk and Honey Studios. So I feel some type of connection to this cuticle oil because it says something about milk and honey. So anyway, that's that with that. I just decided, I mean, since I literally just picked this package up, I may as well do something, share something about it. So I bought two different packages of gemstones and stuff. One is just like a whole lot of rhinestones. That's what this one is, all the rhinestones. This one, it has crystals and everything in it, like as you can see right here, but it also has different geometric shapes. And, oh, wow, why is this open? Hmm. I don't know. But, um, this is my acrylic brush set that I ordered from Amazon as well. Because I want to try my hand at, um, putting on acrylic. So, I have a kit that a good sister friend of mine by the name of Brianna um, mailed to me, so I'm really grateful. She also is into nails, but she hasn't had an opportunity to use hers, and she bought it, and it's just been sitting there, and she really didn't want it to go to waste, and she figured, hmm, you're talking about doing your nails, and I think that you'll be able to really do them, so I'm going to give it to you. So shout out to Bri for that. I appreciate that because I have used it. Um, Brianna's kit came with this UV light, which I do use and I will be using. Um, okay, so that's all in this particular package. I have another bag. I don't know what I ordered. I don't remember, so I'm going to find out as I open this package. But yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. I ordered acrylic. So, this is Mia Secret. This is the beige acrylic powder. Oh, I need to get some monomer too. This is rose colored acrylic powder. I don't know what none of this is about. And this is supposed to, be, this is the pink acrylic powder. I wanted to get a clear, but I guess I didn't. Whatever. I'm going to keep everything in this bag because I just want stuff to be kept. And if anything spills, I want it to spill in the bag and so it can be contained, basically. That's what I think I mean by kept. So I got acrylic. I do have liquid monomer that my friend gave me, but I do need to order some more because I just need, to, I feel the need to order liquid monomer. But as of now, I'm not doing anything with acrylic tonight because um, I need a fast application and I don't know. I mean, I really just don't know what I'm doing. So 
That'll be another video for another day for me to trial and error my nails with the acrylic. And I probably won't do that on video until I feel comfortable enough doing it on my own. But as of now, what I plan on doing right now is I have pretty much like my press on acrylic nails. Um, the ones that I had that I just took off that I had black on, I'm going to reapply those. I'm going to put a different, um, color on them. And I am going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to put some crystals or one crystal. I don't know what I'm going to do yet in the department of crystals, but I'm going to attempt to put crystals on there. Okay. So that's that with that. That's the packaging. That's what I got from my Amazon package. Again, I bought different types of crystals here in rhinestone. These are different geometric shapes, but they also have other small rhinestones in here in the packaging too. So let me open this real quick so that you guys can see right along with me. Now, I'm going to have to figure out what we need this for. I'm guessing this is like to mark a spot or something. I don't really know. I probably won't do that or need that. Not like I'm a pro, but I just don't see myself using it. Oh, okay. So this is more crystals and rhinestones. Woo, they got some, they go from small. So they are really tiny and then they just go up in size. This is really pretty. Moving on. I will say this. It's very inspirational. It definitely makes me want to. I mean, I want to do my nails anyway, but it really makes me want to do them to see what I can come up with now. But I am kind of sleepy, so your girl probably going to be playing with none of these. If I do, I'm going to keep it so simple because I'm sleepy. Yeah, I am sleepy. Apothic. That's the one I had that I'm trying to think of the name of because that's what got me feeling like this. Super sleepy. Okay. How do we open this? How do we get this up out of here? So... Here is the little casing of the other geometric shapes. You know, I don't like, I mean, I'm going to use these and I'm grateful, but it's like so small and only a few come in here. So you'd have to really stock up on these. But anyway, not to be complaining or whatever. It is what it is. So that's basically it, you guys, for those who cared to watch this all the way to the end. Um, that's all that came in my Amazon package for the nails. I have another one, but it's pretty much the same stuff, just in a smaller kit. So I'm not going to go through all of that. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> uh, to the Pretty Coach channel okay i would appreciate that um also if you guys have any ideas um for videos please also let me know about those you can let me know in the comments please and thank you it has been my pleasure i'm so sorry that my eyes are just doing crazy stuff because i'm so feeling myself because of this apricot what is it called this apot apothic apothic Sparkling red wine is what we had. And I'm telling you, I'm feeling myself. But moving on. It is what it is. Good night, you guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, you guys. So I'm coming to just kind of show how I prepare my nails and how I do my nails at home. This is the first time. Well, this will be the second time that I'm doing my nails for myself at the house. Um, and I am reusing some nails that I had on before. Um, what I did was a little bit earlier today, I took just a few cotton balls and some nail polish remover. And then I took 
the color off of my already used acrylic nails. They've already been cut down and shaped as well. So um, I took all the color I had on there was black. So I took all the black off. And now I'm actually following my nail bed so that I can kind of get it ready. This I'm a right-handed person. I'm using my left hand right now to um, kind of just file off my nail bed where I had some glue, dry glue. So I think that's going to get that off of there. Um, I bought my nail file from Walmart. And everything I just purchased on my own. Not sponsored. I just... Shoot, I was interested in finding a way to get my nails done and to do them, you know, where it wasn't so pricey. I don't mind spending the money. I kind of enjoy the process, but I was like, I can do this myself. So I went on YouTube myself and just started researching basically and looking for ways to do it cheaper at the house. And this so far has been one of the, my favorite ways. Plus, just because it's like instant in a way. I also want to learn how to do the acrylic myself as well. So I've been watching those videos. And when I try my hand at that, I'll record that too. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe this. What am I talking about? Like, share, and subscribe to the channel is what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I did purchase everything that I'm going to use today, like aside from this file and some of my nail polish and all of my nail polishes, rather. Um, everything came from Amazon. Like I said, with the exception of this and the nail polishes. The glue, and there's one glue that I'm not going to use this time. So I don't have to say it, but yeah, everything came from Amazon that I'll use with the exception. No, I'm tripping. Please forgive me, guys. I'm a little tipsy, but I promise I can think straight. Everything came from Amazon. Um, some things I did not buy personally, they were gifts for me or they were given or gifted to me by someone else, but they did purchase it from Amazon as well. So. That's why I was trying to think like everything really did come from Amazon. All right. So right now I'm using the file to kind of create a little bit of something for my nails to hold on to, my acrylics to hold on to. The acrylics I got from Amazon.com. I'll share those in a little bit. Or maybe I'll just put that in the description box. I'm not going to stop or detract from what I'm doing. Not at this second. But when I do pick them up, even though I don't have to, because I already got them together, I'll show y'all the nails. Whew. I really don't know why I decided to do this right this second, because I'm really sleepy, but... I also really wanted to do my nails. I had already prepared them before we went to go celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. I had already prepped my nails. Not, not like what I'm doing right now, but the other ones, my acrylic nails, my fake nails that I'm going to put on, I had already prepped those before I left. So maybe that's the reason. All right, so I think I've done enough to where my nails will have something to grip onto. I got the little bitty brush, so I'm gonna dust away some of the dustiness and all that good stuff from both sides. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and size each one of my nails. They've already really been sized, but I'm just going to do it again just to be on the safe side. And I'm hating this. Like, they don't look the same. They do not look the same as they did, obviously, before because I had black on them. But 
this will have to do, I'm going to paint them anyway, so this will be all right. So this does fit, so I'm going to go ahead and get the glue that I already used. I'm going to apply this glue generously because I feel like I have to. Okay, and I'm also going to apply this to my nail bed. Okay, I do have to be very careful. I'm also pushing back my, my cuticle with the nail. Because that's one other thing that I do have to get is a cuticle um, thingy. Something to push my cuticles and stuff back. I do need to get that. But in the meantime, in between time, I have to hold these down too because And I'm using my finger to go around the edges and move my skin out of the way so that I can go ahead and press down some more to ensure that my nail is going to be down on all sides. And I'm holding... All right, so basically this is my first time trying this glue like by itself. Um, I do have another glue that I will show you guys that I've used before and I feel that it made such a major difference. Um, this is, like I said, this is everything that I'm using in this video. I did order, <laughs> sorry, I did order from Amazon. This is called KDS glue and I really just wanted to try it out by itself. Because I used this glue starting off when I first did my first batch of nails, but they all popped, not all of them, but like a, a lot of them did pop off. So I wound up needing, I was like, oh, maybe this isn't a good glue. And I did go and find another glue from like Dollar Tree. It was by Kiss. It's called Kiss Super Bond Glue. And then every one that popped off, I just used that glue. So I'm going to show that to you guys, just so you know what that looks like. I mean, if I can find it myself, I will. I'll be showing it if I can find it. Here you go. I have another one, so I don't know where it's at. I'm going to have to find that glue. But this is the glue that I bought from Dollar Tree, and it is amazing. So I will be picking up some more of that. But I do want to just try this glue one more time that I got from Amazon because I'm like, maybe it could have been me. I didn't really know what I was doing the first time around anyway. So now that I have a little bit better insight, I figured maybe that'll help. I think I'm going to try to go ahead and take the, take the glue, I mean, not the glue, what am I trying to say? I'm going to go over each of my nails again with the, um, with some nail polish remover because I really, really, really want to make sure that, you know, I kind of got a clean slate to work with. So... Yeah. Let's put some glue here. Ooh. Okay.
I'm pressing down and kind of pinching the sides too at the same time. And I'm a holding. Because I did not do that the first time. And I really do feel like it makes a difference. Um, all in all though, with the, when I put my, this glue on, as well as when I reapplied the glue for, from uh, the Dollar Tree, I will say that those nails wound up lasting me much longer than I thought that they would. I thought that they would only, that they would only last me for like a week, but they lasted, you know, like I said, with the reapplication of the other glue, they wound up lasting for like two weeks, two and a half weeks, actually. Would have been three, probably if I didn't have to work with my husband, it would have been longer. So anyway, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to just put all the other nails on because you guys get the gist of it. This is the two that I put on. Um, yeah, and then I'll be back after I've gotten a little bit further along in the process. I do want to attempt to put some stones and stuff on me this on myself this time. So... I'm going to probably get through the whole process of painting. I might come back and show me painting one of them, but then the rest I'll just, you know, come back and show something different, okay? Okay, you guys, I am back, and I'm just going to show you the finished results, what I decided to do on my nails. This is a good hand. The other hand I did mess up on, but I'll show it to you anyway. I kept it very simple because I was so sleepy. It took me a while because some of the nails popped off with the glue that I did use. So to me, it is official. The glue that I got from Amazon sucks. Okay. And the glue that is good that will have my nails lasting for two to three weeks is the Kiss Glue Super Blonde. It's the Kiss Super Bonding Glue. So I feel like my nails, by the time I start working tomorrow, doing things, maybe washing dishes or moving things around, these will pop off with the KDS brand of glue that I have. But um, I will, apply, I'm going to just, once they pop off, I'm going to take them off and I'm going to put them back on with the KI, with the, why well, was about to sell it y'all? I'm like, why? I'll put it back on with the kiss glue because they're too cute not to, right? Aren't they cute? So they're very simple. And, um, I did use some of my cuticle oil, which smells yummy. Okay. I know I can't eat it, but it smells real good. But here's the finished results one more time. I have a nude color on. Darn it. It'll just, I'll either, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll see the, the, the colors and stuff like that and the, the stuff that I use. If not, I suggest if you want to see it, you go and follow me there on Instagram.com at the pretty coach. Okay. Good night, you guys. Good night. Look at that. So cute. It gives me a rose gold thing going on. But anyways, good night, you guys. It's 11.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm going to bed. Thank you. Thank you.